Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to repeat a header row in a table. And what that means is that this is the um, header row right here. I want that to repeat on um, all of my the tops of my pages. I'm at the bottom of my table now and um, I'm going on to a second page and of course I want to have the definition of each of my columns to follow suit. But you don't want to type that in manually because what if you insert something in here in between and your pagination changes, then you definitely want to have um, the row put in manually. So what you need to do is um, select your row. Now I do that by using the control shift key and the right arrow key to select the row. You can also select the row by pressing the alt key, the type JL, the little boxes here. You would type JL and then you would type K for select and then R for row. Um, or you could just highlight it with your mouse. I'm just showing you all the available ways. Um, I think we all tend to uh, learn a, a certain way and we get quick at it, especially if we're keyboardists and not mousers. So I am gonna show you how to do this with the mouse and the keys, but I normally just use the keys. So back to this, you wanna select that row that you want to um, have as your repeating row and the other fast way to do it as well and you would have to be in the layout preview up here at the top these table tools do not appear unless you're in a table so if you don't see that you need to insert a table into your document and it's design tools and layout tools so the tool for what i want to do i know is in layout so if you're a mouser just get into that layout tab and you can then click on repeat header rows and that would appear here and re would repeat through the rows so i don't like to take my hands off the keyboard it's going to seem like it's really slow right now because i'm not typing um, it becomes automatic as you use these keys you just do it automatically and if you're a fast typer then you can actually get there faster by the quick keys um, as opposed to taking your hands off and using the mouse so um, I'm just going to um, tell you that another way um, of, of getting into more of the features for doing this is in properties for mousers. So you'll want to click on properties. Then you'll see that you have these tabs up at the top for different options within that table. You want to click into row and in options you'll see here repeat as header row at top of each page. That's what you want to click on to make that work so that this appears down here. So as I said, I'm going to show you the mouse way and I'm going to show you the um, uh, quick key way. And I did show the mousers um, this way as well because of the different options that you have within here. You can specify your heights of your rows. You can Play with your columns you can uh, play with the alignment to top center and bottom um, of your table um, so that's that's basically a dialog box with pretty much all the options you even have border and shading down here as well as options it brings up a dialog box so i always think it's best that you know what's available so let's just get back to this what's in this tutorial it's a little quick tutorial so if I'm typing along and, and now I realize I'm going to have two pages, then I come up here, I select that um, row that I want to repeat. Again, I use the Alt key. I type JL to make sure that I'm in layout. I then type O as that is the letter that is under properties, which is right here. So I type the O. And then I type R to get into row because I know that that's where that setting is. And then just type an H, I'm sorry, an Alt H, and that will put the checkbox into the repeat as header row at the top of each page. Press, press your return key. And then if you scroll down, you'll see now that you have that at the top and it will happen from this point forward. If I ended up with 10 pages that 
um, row would end up at the top of the each page without me having to do anything else at the, from this point forward. So I hope that helps someone. I, I will do table um, tutorials in the future, but this is just for a quick fix. Um, I will have a playlist called Quick Tutorials for Quick Fixes or something like that. So have a great day. Hope that helps someone.